Okay, this is a grade 11 question from November 2018. It's question 6, November 2018, a question on Newton's law of universal gravitation. You can see here I've got the formula for universal gravitation over here. I've got the other formula that we often use with this, the formula for weight. And here is the value of big G, uh, the universal gravitational constant. Okay, it says the gravitational force on a probe called Curiosity on the surface of Mars is 3,338 newtons. The radius of Mars is 3,390 kilometers and the mass of the planet is 6,39 times 10 to the power of 23 kilograms. State Newton's law of universal gravitation in words, well that's each particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a gravitational force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. It's a good idea to try and use the formula here to help you remember it so that the m1, m2 are being multiplied, those are the masses and the r squared over here is the distance between their centers. Remember, this is always between the centers. Now it says to you, calculate the mass of the probe. So what they've given you is the weight of the probe. The weight of the probe and the gravitational force are basically the same thing. So if we look at our force, we're going to use the formula force is equal to the universal gravitational constant m1 m2 over r squared and now we're just going to substitute into this formula so the value for the force which is the same as the weight because your weight is the force of gravity on all your particles except now this probe is on mars that is its force is equal to the universal gravitational constant which you go to the back of your data sheet and you copy off the back of your data sheet so it's 6,67 times 10 to the 11 times mass 1 this doesn't matter which one you pick for mass 1 mass 2 I'm gonna pick mass 1 is the mass of the probe and the second mass is always the mass of the planet being considered now this is on Mars okay so we have to put the mass of Mars here because this force was measured on Mars, not on Earth. So this mass of Mars is 6,39 times 10 to the 23 kilograms. And it's in kilograms, which is the SI unit for mass. So we are fine. Okay. And this is all over R squared, the square of the distance between their centers. Now they have given you the radius of Mars, but they have given you the radius in kilometers. We may not put kilometers in this formula. We have to convert the kilometers into the SI unit, which is meters. So I'm going to multiply this by 10 to the power of 3, because that's how we to convert um, kilometers into meters. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. And now remember, you have to square outside the brackets. So you put the squared outside the brackets. Now you just have to use your calculator with this. Do some algebra. And if you put your algebra in here correctly, please check you know how to use your calculator. You should come up with an answer of 900,03 kilograms. I see the memo rounded it off to 900 kilograms even but my calculator gave me 900,03 kilograms. And that is the mass of the probe. Remember your mass is the number of particles in the object and it is measured in kilograms. Now, the mass of the particles on the Curiosity rover is going to be the same as the mass of the particles on Earth unless we break it before we get back to Earth and lose some wheels or something. So the mass on Mars is the same as the mass on Earth. What is different on Earth is the acceleration due to gravity because Earth has a different radius and a different mass. So to find the weight of the probe on Earth, we're going to use the formula weight equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So the mass we just calculated, 900,03 kilograms, and the acceleration due to gravity, we get it from the data sheet 
it is 9,8. I didn't copy and paste it here, but you know how to get it off the data sheet, yes? And here I get 8,820,34. And the unit for this is Newtons. And because this is a vector, we should technically write downwards. But that is the weight of the probe. Mass, measured in kilograms, how many particles are in an object. Weight, the gravitational force acting on your mass.